Hey everybody, welcome back. Working on an antenna project today that's going to require me to make a connection between a 400 ohm ladder line and the legs of a dipole. So the method I'm going to use today was taught to me by my Elmer Leon, Kilo Charlie 1, Lima Bravo Lima, out in New Hampshire. And this is a method that they used in a commercial environment while he worked for Marconi Canada. So I'm going to demonstrate what he taught me, and you can use it for whatever it's worth. I'm, I know there's probably a ton of different methods of splicing wire and making connections out there. So uh, we're just going to demonstrate what he showed me. And also at the end of the video, there's also a demonstration on the butt splice. How to, if you have a, two wires that broke and you want to splice them back together, uh, how to do a butt splice. So let's go get started and uh, let's have some fun. Come on. So for this uh, portion of the video, you're going to need an insulator, your 450 ohm ladder line, some copper antenna wire, and we're going to use some uh, tie wraps. So to start with, we're going to use one of these uh, regular old insulators. And I know they make uh, some special 450 ohm um, feed line attachment mechanisms that come here and then they spread out the wires for you and they're like 20 bucks online but we're cheap around here so we're just going to do this and basically um, we will come up here and use these fancy dancy grooves that are built right into the insulator pull our wire around like that and uh, that's how we'll connect to the insulator i'll tie wrap that down Okay, we've got it connected to the insulator. Here's what it looks like. And basically, we brought it around from the back, around the top, and pulled the tails through and tie wrapped them down. And I'm sure um, there's probably better mechanisms than uh, tie wraps to hold it in place. But uh, again, we're on the cheap and it works for me. So that's what we're doing. We're just tie wrapping those down to make them nice and solid and a good tight uh, connection to the insulator. Next we will, so this, this is our tail that we're going to connect to the leg of the wire, antenna wire going off to this side. So we've got our antenna wire here and it's the stranded copper and we're going to feed this through, uh, through the hole and I like to do a double feed through the hole just to give it some uh, stability so it isn't sliding around in there. So I'm going to feed this through twice and pull that out like so. So here's what it looks like coming out. All right, so we've got a tail here and we've got the antenna wire going off. So we will bring this from the ladder line up and over and we'll strip back some of this and we'll make our connection point to the leg of the antenna. So here we have the ladder line wire coming over here and we've got it attached to the antenna wire. Here's the ladder line wire and then here's the tail of the antenna wire that we looped through the insulator. Got it tie wrapped here. So now we're going to begin the attachment, the connection point here. And uh, what you want to do is you want to take your, uh, your antenna wire tail and you want to take one of the strands, just one, and unravel it. If you can get one pulled apart there, there we go. You want to unravel just one of them all the way back to the base here okay and then we're going to pull everything together we're going to take this one and we're going to wrap it we're going to take him and we're going to wrap him right around the, all the other wires okay and this is the part that gets kind of tedious because there's a lot of wrapping with this connection point, but it ain't going to come apart on you. 
and you try and line and get them so that they are right next to each other, kind of tight. Pull that around. All right, we got that wrapped up there, just like that. Now, you want to take one of the strands of the ladder line next. Separate them out. And since there are multiple strands in the ladder line, I'm going to double them up and take two. I'm going to grab two of them. All right, like so. Pull them out. Get everything gathered back together again. And I'm going to start wrapping these two the same direction around. And line them right up there, right next to each other. And this is the copper clad and steel wire, I think, on this. So you wrap that around good and tight. And that stuff is not very flexible. And you know, try to, it ain't gonna be pretty, at least mine aren't pretty. Okay, now we got that one. So now we go back to the antenna copper tail and unwrap one and start wrapping and pull them all together and wrap him around. And you alternate like that all the way to the end. Okay, and we'll just finish this and we'll come back when we got this whole side done. That's kind of what it's looking like. Lots of wrapping. Okay, all right, we'll be right back. So here's the finished product, one side completed. We have the ladder line feed over here, and we've got it altern alternatively wrapped um, with the antenna wire circled around. Now, some people um, might put a piece of, put a little solder right there in the middle, but you don't have to. You can just leave it as is. This acts kind of as a strain relief. It's, you know, so it's, it is flexible. It will move. It's a little stiffer, but... And there's your one leg of the antenna. Now you just repeat that process for the other side. Come up here and uh, go with your wire and, and, and uh, wrap, 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 wrap. Now here's the finished product. We got uh, our splice connection here to this leg and did this duplication over here on the same. And uh, did a little better job on my wrapping on this side. But uh, you just wrap, 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 and then uh, at the center of the insulator, insulator, and when you're ready to pull it up into a tree or on a pole, tie your rope right down the center of the insulator and get her in the air. That's about all there is to it. So next we'll show you how to do a butt splice where we need to connect two wires together and uh, butt splice them. So we've got two ends of a wire. It broke or... We cut too much off and need to add back on when we were cutting our lengths. So this will be a butt splice where you can splice two wires together and it won't pull apart on you. So I'll show you how to do that next. So you've got your two ends and you want to measure back about three to four inches or so and pull one of the strands out, separate it from the rest of them on this side and you want to do the same thing on this other, this other side that you're connecting about three to four inches and pull one strand out. So back here where you've got uh, this, where you stopped splitting it, we're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna bring these two ends together at that point, right there, okay? So you're gonna hold everything together, pull everything over here, and you're gonna take one of them and you're gonna start wrapping. And make sure you wrap the same direction uh, on both sides. So we're going to take this and we're going to wrap. Start wrapping. Nice and tight. Pull it nice and tight. Keep that kind of close in there. Yeah, you want a nice
nice tight wrap. And this is good copper wire. It's good, good wrapping wire. Oops, I got overlap there. There we go. Keep them tight to beside each other. Okay, we've got that started. Now you want to take this one on this side, do the same thing, wrap the same direction. And work your way across. Takes a little time, but uh, these will not pull apart. At least I have never had one pull apart. I've had it break somewhere else. Okay, there's our start right there. That's what it looks like. So now you can go ahead and uh, so we'll pull one more one strand out of this one again out of this tail. Let's see if we can find one. Never mind my dry hands and stuff. I just it's the nature of the country life. Okay, pull that out. Unravel that back to there. All right. So now um, we can finish wrapping this whole side. And then we can come, now that we got this side started, then we can come back and finish this whole side too. And then we'll be done. So I'll finish it and I'll come back. Okay, we're down to the last wire here. The last wrap. And we'll get that on. The nice thing about this is the further along you go, the shorter the wires get, the less you have to wrap at the end. Get this last one here. Okay. That's everything right there. All right. There is your butt splice. Two wires together. It's solid. You can put a little solder right in the center if you want, but you don't have to. Uh, this is flexible, and it's a good connection, and it's not going to pull apart. So there's your butt splice right there. It's close up. And there's the center of it right there. That's where we started. Okay, well, this ends the demonstration of uh, wire connections and splicing. I hope you enjoyed it, and uh, thanks for watching. And 7-3, everybody, have a great ham radio adventure. <laughs> <laughs>